stone. Oh. 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 Hermits. Does everybody <laughs> make it? Well, that's right. Oh. Take a look around. Good, I mean, though. This is the first time we've actually seen this world, which Whoa. is a little yeah. bit unusual for us, awesome. isn't it? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the first time in Hermitcraft history that we're starting a new season on a blind seed, right? I mean, this means we don't actually know where anything is for the first time ever. And I just like to say, I think this is a terrible idea. That's all I say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where stuff is. <laughs> Wait, this was your idea. <laughs> and I think I think a bunch of us have decided that we're gonna kind of form a, a close little community here and, and stick close by, form a little village, live together, work together and see what happens. I think, I think it'll be fun. And with that, I set out to begin season nine. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Why are you in a boat? Got oh, it. Look, look at we him got go. one, guys. We got one. We got, look at him. We got this. We got this. We got this. Hermes, yeah. help me here with community tools. Okay. Torches. I'll take torches. Yeah, help yourself. Let Thanks, Joe. Boat. Look at this valley. Snow capped peaks everywhere. I love it. Hey, Tango, I'm, I'm trying to go over there to the meadow, trying to find some cows or something. That sounds good. There should be some over there. You want to come? Yeah, let's go. Help. Hey, you got meat in your hand? Hello. You have I meat. Do, do you. Are you are you in need of meat? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Wells. You're my favorite. You're welcome. T the tango tank. Where is where's food? Do, oh, look at the, know where the fields of meat. Oh, food. Guys, I'd bad. like to reiterate that this is the worst start in Minecraft that I've oh, ever yeah. been a part of. Yeah, this is horrendous. No, I like how we're all starving and we're like, hey, let's I'm jump up the side Iron of a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Tango, it's a mountain climbing expedition. How else are we gonna jump up? We're going out. Didn't exactly stick the landing there. Sorry. Yeah. What? Oh. Village. Village. Lead village. on, sir. Lead on. Here. What is this? This village has can't... no wall. Who built this village? <laughs> what is what this? The stress to get. What, what is it? Oh, this is a barn. I've never seen this building. Okay. Oh, 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 hey. oh hey. Ooh, hello there. Hello there. Spooky. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> full Parker. Wow, that was great. <laughs> that was a movie. That was a movie exit. Oh, shit, I want to slow mo that. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Daniel, there. this way. Okay, this way for the cool stuff. This way for the cool <laughs> stuff. Cool stuff? I like cool stuff. Yeah, cool stuff. Yeah, look, look yep. in here, man. Oh, wow, okay, that's actually... Oh, whoa! Wow. That looks like... Whoa. I say that's me. right! I'm the champion, everybody! I wasn't nervous for one minute. I'm, I have totally more than two hearts, by the way. Everything's fine. Graber, wow. Graber. Oh, watch out, guys, oh, watch out. Oh, uh, right back at you. Okay. Oh, no, he's doing slow! Oh! oh. Powdered snow, I'm dying! Oh, Help! Hey, Tango! Oh, oh no! Tango. Can you help? Yeah. 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 Tango, yeah. damn it! Why did you die in the snow? I'm trying to think for you! Oh. Oh, I saw my life <laughs> flash before my eyes. Oh, I'm in it again! No! I'm not going to let It's the killer snow! So, as you can see, it was a bit chaotic at the beginning, and. It didn't get any better. Hey, has anyone claimed these uh, these bees? I could use some bees. I need bees. I need honey. Uh, the, the bees have not been claimed, but but Timing. but uh, they were going to be used for a murder. God. But you what have them in the deal. Okay, what's the deal? You give me eight iron. How right, about I bees. give you seven Otherwise, iron, and I'll take seven eighths of a bee. That sounds good to me. There might be some rounding er errors, but thanks. Oh hey. Hey, uh, anybody yeah. got two iron yeah. so I can share these things? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Tango, you've come to the right place, because boy, do I have a deal for you. <laughs> Here it goes, I see where this is going. <laughs> uh, what, what do you have? Um, a potato and some snowballs, and a lot of hopes and dreams. Okay, all of those things sound good, fire away. Okay. Now, I gotta put, like, if I, if I... Someone wait, wait, where's the potato me? and the snowballs? I was promised oh, potatoes oh, 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 and sorry. snowballs here, I thought here, that Tango. was a sympathy. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Now, someone thank educate you, me. You. If I if I shear these guys without putting, like, campfire in them, aren't they going to, like, kill me in the face or something? You should just give it a go. I should? Okay, I like what you're saying. Well, you actually, actually, Tango, things? before you do, before you do, before you do, I do actually have this knowledge, but there is a price to pay for it. A price? What would you be willing to for, for give not, me for this knowledge? But it's dripping with the delicious honey. No! No! <gasps> oh! uh, I didn't know that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that happened. 
Did he kill the hive? I mean, he did! <laughs> and, and, and my honey enterprise was just right. shattered! Tango. I'm used to Tango. silk touch! Oh. Tango, Tango, oh, no, Tango. So if you want me, if you want me to kill him, if you want me to kill him, then that is absolutely fine. I am happy to do it. What's the fee? What's then the fee? Obviously, there is a price. I really, really uh, could do with some food. Um, there. Steaks. Oh, baby. Death. Right. Death is on the menu. You're Humble. getting it, buddy. Can I have his gear <laughs> when you kill him? Look at this. Look at this sad, homeless bee. He's just confused. Doesn't know where to go or anything. Right, Tango. I'm sorry. I failed. I failed. All right. Well, I will look for more bees then. Fare thee well. Is that the strategy? You just pretend you just don't fight back and then you feel bad and then he just gets away with it? Well, I mean, are we, are we at the murdering mean? stage? Is this what's happening? Dude, I have been oh, at the me? murdering stage, Tango. Have you seen the chat? Do I need to show you the chat, Well, Tango? I saw a lot of you dying. I didn't see a lot of people dying to your hand. I'm not going to stick around for this conversation. I'm not going to stick around oh, for this these conversation. Two, these two. These two had a hand in it. Yeah. Oh, they had a hand in it. Do you have any iron I can have? <laughs> that gave all my life. iron to him for oh, the bees oh, that I oh, didn't oh, get. Scar. <laughs> Scar. Scar. Boy, oh boy. Do I have a deal for you? <laughs> And this is what has happened so far. The most unproductive start to a Hermitcraft season ever. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Hermitcraft season nine. We are up here on top of Spawn Village. I have no idea what is going on with any... People are blowing up left and right. That's all we know. I have no idea what's going on with this seed. It is literally blind. We're just all floundering and randomly walking around. And I got to say, it's a ton of fun. I think this little guy is lost. There are no hives up in the mountains, in the snowy mountains. Are you a snow bee? But we have much to do today, much to do. I got a starter house I want to build today, but it requires all kinds of things, all kinds of crazy resources. I got to get to the nether. I got to get to a mesa biome. I got to get, I pretty much have to, I'm dying in the snow. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The snow didn't kill me at all. I, I got to start exploring a little bit. I want to see where I want to build this little starter house first, because I, like I said, I don't know where anything is. We can make that jump, right? Right? Everything's fine. Ooh. Oh my. These new caves are amazing. <gasps> Look what I found. That's huge. Okay, good. I think that's Azuma. He's already down there. All right, let's get some real caving done here now. Instinct tells me to dig a hole and go into the ground, but all I really want, I mean, diamonds would be nice, but I really want a lot of iron. I'm going to need a lot of iron today. So 118. Iron spawns way up in the mountains at super high elevation. So I'm going to go up into these snowy peaks here, and I think we're going to find a ton of iron the higher I go. Okay, we're up here at 163. Let me turn off hitboxes, and uh, let's see what we can find in here. I need your string. I need your string. Give me your string. String now. So many creatures. 72 iron from just this little room right here. Tango's future starter house. We picked out a little area here. We got some cows. We even have a wandering tree farm somehow uh, a little weed action going here and we're gonna build our house right here it's gonna be amazing but we have so many resources that I need to gather and it's just ridiculous for a day one sort of thing so I gotta get bees first thing I need is like 120 honey blocks for this build and I don't know where there's any beehives so we're gonna go wander out that way see who we run into or see if we find any bees Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, we got a beehive. What's your level at? Oh, level zero. Fantastic. I'll just wait for seven years. Thanks. Let's help them out here and put a little flower action right around their beehive. Yeah, guys. Buzz. Buzz harder. Beehive number two. Beehive number two. And your level is? Ooh, level two. Okay, this is good. This is better. How is there a baby chicken here? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Did someone come out here and feed this chicken and... What is happening? Okay, so I don't have silk touch. So unfortunately, look at this guy. Unfortunately, the way I think I'm going to have to do this is terrifying. Like normally I'd be able to silk touch this at night and take the bees with me and go home, plop it down, boop, bee action, right? No. Now I think I have to like chop this thing up with, with the shears and get the honeycomb and make my own beehive. And I don't know how I'm going to get bees home. There's a little puppers out here. I see. Okay. Did they change something? Whoa, did they change something in 118? Did the baby animals spawn naturally? Or is, has this been in the game for a hundred years and I just don't know? Oh, this one down here is dripping, is dripping with the honey. The sweet, sweet honey. Okay, we put the fire down there. And we do that. And I got 
three, there it is, three honeycombs. That is fantastic. What I don't know is, will the bees continue to work when the, the smoke, does the smoke make them get all like chill and just like want to hang out for a little bit or are they going to keep working? And beehive number two is dripping with the honey goo and we must, we must claim more of this. Look at these guys go. They're like super fast, super bees. And we're back home and now I should be able to make five beehives so i think we're ready to build here that is my little home my little starter area over there that is a spawn over there and we're gonna build a little a little bee farm right here up in the middle of this hill well hello there let's uh let's see what you have i haven't been in one of these in a long time excellent some pistons love it I'll take the bones. I'll take the bones. Dispensers. I need dispensers for my honey. Okay, coming home from a little adventure here. I got. A t I had to go exploring for acacia. Got a ton of that. Not enough, but I got some saplings. I'll plant some more. But I know Pearl really wants acacia. False really wants acacia, and Doc really wanted melons. So good guy Tango saving the day. You know, it's fine. It's awkward. <laughs> It's, it's awkward. It's creepy. You, it's just... You're discussing my face? Yeah. This is very rude. I'm stood right here. <laughs> well, you know. I mean, I wouldn't so much call it a face. You got, you got a little, little something something there. I don't know if it's from dinner or what. You might want it right, right uh, in, in the center. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. And, okay. Um, yep. Okay. The That's wires just, aren't, aren't yep. doing oh, much And it's just awkward either. now. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. I'm just going over here. That's cool. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd pop back. I was closer to you than That's not. fine. I was like, I don't even know. Is, I think this is you and then Ren's over Did there. You? Yeah, I haven't really signed both today very well. By the way, you need deep slate, right? I do, I do, yeah. Yeah, any any deep slate in that chest you can Are you can serious? Take. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't need uh, any. Here, here, share some. Thank you very much. Ooh, um, And I'm plenty. sure you have some of these, but if not, there uh, you go. I don't actually. Okay, you. there you go. And... Do you have any jungle wood to grow them on? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very good at this game. So, yeah, I brought cocoa beans without the jungle wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I, I made that mistake before. That's why oh. I know. Cool. Yeah, you building a starter house or something here today or what? Yeah, there's going to be something uh, appearing pretty soon, hopefully. But it needs a, a lot of blocks. So A lot, yeah. Mm. I know, I know that yeah. feeling. All right, well, good luck. <laughs> I know. Go see you. Well, change of plans. I'm I'm halfway through building my beehive thing, and Impulse is like, "Hey, we got a cool thing going on over here. You want to come move in with me and Pearl and Gem? And I guess B Dubs is all over there now. And I'm I'm just sitting over here all lonely. I haven't built my house yet. I mean, I got my cows and my wheat, but that ain't much. So we're moving. So this is my new home. Dango's happy place. And now we have neighbors. We have, we have Impulse, my good buddy living right here. I think right over there, that pillar is B-dubs. And I think Jevin is going to live right next to him somewhere over there. We have the one and only Pearlescent Moon right next door to me. And I think right back, where is this? Like an amazing tree right there. That is Gem. So we got Pearl, Gem, Impulse, B Dubs, Jevin, all in this little neighborhood. And I've got all kinds of little space back here. So what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, there's going to be a bridge here, right? It's going to look a little bit fancier than this. We're going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to terraform a little bit here. We're going to, we're going to, you know, shape the land and everything and build my house up a little bit higher. I'm thinking like a little waterfall into the end of the river. That's going to look nice. And then in the back here, see, I'm smart this time. I didn't put all my stuff right where I'm going to build. So we got all this back here. And I think now what I'm going to do is build the the bee farm right back here in the plains how are you <laughs> i'm good I i'm just your neighbor now from a, i see that i see a lot of acacia too which is yes. cool to have yeah I, i'm like johnny appleseed except with acacia everywhere i go i just plant acacia trees <laughs> oh i see okay what do you got going are you doing a bee farm already what's well, happening here i don't know how this bee got in here this is a mystery it disappeared to me. yeah like the doors <laughs> I mean, the doors have been closed. I put some beehives down and look, he's already dripping with honey going there. I don't understand. Perfect. 
they just they found their way they, right life finds a way i don't i don't exactly. get it exactly all right well i'm uh i'm collecting my supplies i want to get my starter base going i'm assuming Same that's, here. Um, yeah i need honey blocks so i, I decided <laughs> oh, to do geez. this project so that i could do the next project and i thought i was insane with getting the amethyst no, blocks you're doing no. honey blocks yeah, i need like 120 <laughs> honey blocks yeah crazy wow Okay, happy bee farm. Yep, yep. <laughs> I think here comes my favorite person. Hello, hello, hello. I found you. You moved on. I did, I, I did. That. I know, I feel bad I left you there. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I haven't actually put done anything other than put down chests anyway. That's so kind of where I was to too. And then I was, I was feeling cramped and, you know, impulse said, hey, there's plenty of space over here. So, yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, you needed a silk touch pick? <sighs> Are you serious right now? Yeah, I mean, oh. I need it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I just, I just need to plunk minutes. some beehives, and and it's gonna save me like hours of pulling bees with flowers or leads or something, and I can just scoop them up at nighttime. So this is huge. I will have this back to you shortly. Okay, sounds good. Thank I'll just you follow so much. you around like a creepy person. And That's cool. Yeah. Back. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm not here. <laughs> so, so see you later. And Bye. Bye. These guys are in the beehive right now. There's no way to see how many bees are inside there, right? Got it. Total bee location. Oh, excellent. It's got three bees inside. Fantastic. And after much picking of the flowers and breeding the bees, I think it's safe to call this thing just about done now. I like it. We got a little, little greenhouse effect. You know, it's called plan b apiary but now i did this project just so that i could get started on my next project because i need i think like i told impulse like about 120 100 and something honey blocks and the honey's coming in pretty good here now i just do this i do this i do this boop put the honey blocks back in and then put these back into the dispensers back in there and we're good Oh, it never changes. It never changes. I'm sitting here starting to do some very preliminary terraforming and I get a message from ZF and he's like, Tango, Tango, you got to save me. I'm dying to snow. I fell in the snow. I mean, seriously, can you imagine falling in snow and almost dying? How embarrassing would that be? I think I've fallen in the same hole that ZF fell in. <laughs> Okay, I'm at the spot where I think Zed died. I think it's right around here somewhere. He gave me some coordinates. There he is! There he is! I gotcha, Zed! I gotcha! No! No! You're still dying. You're still dying, and I can't hear you for some reason. No! Zed! Come back! Why did they put powdered snow in oh, the game anyway? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I can hear you now. What? <laughs> What's going on, man? That was horrible. Oh my gosh! I, hey, I just want to let you know. Oh, I'm I'm dying now too. I didn't absolutely did not, you know, almost die in the exact same way coming over here trying to save you. <laughs> this is worse than lava, man. This, this is thing horrifying. Just I know. And you just like you panic. You just like oh, oh, oh. you just panic. And what what do I do? <laughs> it's everywhere. How do we? Where? Which way did you come? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Just this is my follow my dirt blocks, I guess. Oh, not parkour, man. <laughs> okay, they disappear. Oh, well, I mean, leap of faith. Uh, no, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> it's so deep. Oh my it's God. so deep. I just keep going further down. <gasps> You look a little chilly uh, there. Uh, that's the word. It's like, it's one thing when you fall in a block and you're like, oh, I fell down a block. Oh, that's cute. But when you get submerged and your screen just goes white, that's that. That is the definition of true terror. You're like, I'm about to die in the snow. Okay. Oh, solid ground. Mm -hmm. oh, I kiss. Right? I kiss. Just get out and kiss it. <laughs> oh, I need to thaw my butt out now, I think, after that. There we go. Thank you very much for saving me. Uh, feel free to call on me anytime when you're in. Next hot time or cold I'm or... about to die in imminent snowy <laughs> death, you will be my savior. I promise. Yep. Good. Good to know. I am officially very excited right now because it's time. It's time. All the resource gathering. It's time to start building my starter base, my little starter home. I think you're gonna like it.
so somehow this this is what i ended up with how did i end up here i mean it's a combination of a couple things i think first and foremost i wanted to make a build that was like very chaotic modular component based like like something that was upgraded six times like very unplanned and unnatural and that's why i started with a framework as you saw that was just like just a constant mess like just boxes all over the place like it was all different rooms that just have no business being next to each other and then i decided like well why don't i just have this whole thing floating in the sky in, in the air and have these like kind of like dead massive tree evil things coming out of the ground and like wrapping around and grabbing it like you can see the fingers of the tree are just holding it up in the air like absurd supports that make no sense which is exactly what that is i just i like it and i think what really makes it work in my opinion is the palette i think this palette is fantastic for whatever reason the crimson roof is like the the focus of the whole thing but the acacia just brings it together and makes it feel old the vines bring in some color i just i love it when they added i decided to add a little tower at the top with what is supposed to be like a little clock or something I don't know but we are not done by any stretch of the imagination so first of all this is designed with purpose in mind okay there's actually two parts to this build the, the interior is not done but in here i'm thinking i'm gonna make a shop there's gonna be like a little spiral staircase that goes up here and then wait for it up top here hopefully there's nothing in here okay that's right i lit it all up so there'll be a shop that's like at this level right here. And I'll have like all, you know, I don't know what we're going to sell here. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But it's also going to serve as my base. So from the, from the back here, in the, in the back of this little like footstool or whatever it is, support system here, I'm going to add, not that, I'm going to add right here is going to be a bubble elevator that goes up and a drop that comes down. And it's going to come up inside here and there'll be a staircase going up. So there'll be another floor, probably around where that line is there. And I'm going to have my storage and everything. And I live up on the second floor. We're going to take care of all this next episode. But what's driving me nuts right now, and I thought they added this in 118. I thought if you clip, if you shear the tip of a weeping vine, that it shouldn't grow anymore in other words if i take this and chop off just the tip there right right it should stay at that length now i thought they added that am i wrong i thought that was a 118 thing because it's still growing uh, constantly and I'm having to, i mean obviously i know about strings and i can add strings underneath or more likely what i'm probably going to do is just do the age thing if you if you mouse over this in the right hand side if you go up to the top you can see the age of the vine and i can just replant it and stuff like that so i'll probably do that I just feel like the shearing thing was supposed to work. Oh, can we just say, by the way, that I love the honey block windows? For whatever reason, I've never seen it done. It just looks like there's like this magical light in each one of the rooms. That probably took an extra six hours to make the whole bee farm and everything. Totally worth it. So I gotta say, as excited as I was to build this, I mean, I'm super happy with how it turned out. I'm just as excited to, to move on because what I wanna do now is I wanna make a whole surrounding areas. I have an idea for custom trees that are gonna look good. They're gonna bring in more reds and more crimsons and more vines and things. And then I wanna put this whole thing inside a little pond, I think, with a waterfall cascading down here. Super organic, super lush. It's gonna be amazing so that'll do it that'll do it for today thank you so much for being here for hermitcraft season nine i appreciate you guys so much i know it was a long break but i'm so excited and so ready to go but before we go i do have to make something clear and that is a little personal issue is that i have unfortunately a vacation coming up i know right it was scheduled last october and it starts literally the day this video comes out so i'm doing everything i can to get videos out but if there's a lapse at the beginning of the season it's because i'm gone and it's killing me but trust me guys i have plans 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 and i cannot wait for more so thank you